Outer space is so vast that we will never understand everything about it. Yet, as we find more and more answers, we collect one more piece of the puzzle, helping us understand the world beyond our planet. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three 2021 astronomical discoveries. Something mysterious near the galactic center is flashing radio signals. Developing our understanding of space and the universe beyond our own little world is not a new concept or mission. However, we have certainly come a long way since mapping out our directions with the constellations above us. Within the last few decades, our research into space has taken incredible leaps and bounds, with greater high-tech, state-of-the-art equipment being produced and a whole team of highly educated researchers on hand, it is not surprising to see that we can now spot tiny things in images and observations that we would never have even known were there just a few years ago. One recent case is a possible source of radio signals being discovered. A radio signal named ASCAP J173608 2321635 has been discovered close to the center of our galaxy, according to the paper accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal. So far, reports have identified some peculiar aspects to the radio signals, though a particular cosmic object is yet to be tied to the signals. Ziteng Wang, the lead researcher of the team of astronomers based at the University of Sydney, Australia, laid out some of the strange, unexpected characteristics. We have presented the discovery and characterization of ASCAP J173608 2321635, a highly polarized, variable radio source located near the galactic center and with no clear multi-wavelength counterpart. Further on in the statement, the team explained that this radio signal may be an indicator of a new class of object that we can now discover through radio imaging surveys. This means, in short, that we are not entirely sure what this is yet. It may be a cosmic object that we are already familiar with, or it may be something new entirely. It is understood that if these radio signals are indeed tied to an object we already know exists, then we are prepared to reshape the definition of said object, as this particular one is demonstrating a few unfamiliar traits. Some of the more unusual parts of this said object that we are yet to observe elsewhere include odd radio circles, though we are awaiting an explanation as to what these are. Other aspects include its variability. At some points, radio waves will be emitted for weeks on end before disappearing entirely on an unpredictable timescale. Another odd part is the highly polarized nature. The object in question's electromagnetic wave is twisted both linearly and circularly, producing some rather odd oscillations. ASCAP J173608 2321635 was revealed by the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, or ASCAP. ASCAP is one of the world's most sensitive radio telescopes. It is designed for us to delve deeper and further into space, finding some answers and often some more questions about the radio signals out there. Not only is the data we do have confusing, but it is impressive that we have gained any at all. The said object is seemingly very difficult to find, as it went unnoticed in all prior ASCAP research, with surveys just gliding over it. Between April of 2019 and August of 2020, its radio signal appeared in the data set just 13 times, making it notoriously tricky to catch. Following the sighting of the radio signal, studies were conducted using different radio telescopes. The Murray Yang, located in Parks, Australia, the Meerkat, found in South Africa, and the Australia Telescope Compact Array, or ATCA. Murray Yang did not turn over any successful results, though in February 2021, the Meerkat picked up traces of it as did ATCA in the April of this same year. While this is evidence to support the idea that this is where the radio signals are indeed coming from, the fluctuations of this and the lack of data on Meerkat and ATCA about it before the 2021 discoveries means the evidence is not overwhelming. Furthermore, X-rays and near-infrared observations did not show the source of the radio waves, never mind confirming that it was in fact ASCAP J173608 2321635. Overall, this is a brain teaser to say the least. Tracking down exactly what would be polarized and scattered in activity, but is also highly magnetized, seems to be proving an impossible task. 
some stars do fluctuate in their radio wavelengths, though the source did not show up on X-rays nor near infrared, whilst a star would. A pulsar has also been deemed unlikely, as these have highly regular timelines that they follow. The object so far does not align with many existing cosmic objects, though it does check a few boxes with the Galactic Center Radio Transients, or GCRT. Three of these were discovered in the 2000s. Numerous other signals are awaiting confirmation. So far, all we know is that these sources have some things in common with ASCAP J1736082321635 and could be a possible answer. Nothing is definitive yet, and even when it is confirmed, scientific opinions have to alter all the time in light of new research or better equipment. It is possible we won't ever be sure what the source truly is. Astronomers discover mysterious 500 light year wide void in our Milky Way. Astronomers are always uncovering something new. It is not very often, however, that you hear about a large hole in the galaxy. At the moment, astronomers are theorizing that the large void in the Milky Way is from an explosion millions of years ago. The hole is 500 light years wide and can be found between two constellations, Perseus and Taurus, both of which are star forming regions. Star-forming regions are essentially groups of dust and gas that we think accompany supernovas. A supernova is when a star explodes as it reaches the end of its life. It is thought that these specific dust and gas clouds, called molecular clouds, were formed around 10 million years ago. The lead author of the study, Shmuel Bayali, a researcher at the Institute for Theory and Computation at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, explained that there are hundreds of stars forming at the edge of the Milky Way void already. Bayali explained the two current working theories, saying that either a supernova went off in the center of the void and then pushed gas outward to create what is referred to as the Perseus-Taurus supershell, or it is the result of several supernovae over millions of years occurring in the similar space. Data from the European Space Agency's star mapping Gaia spacecraft allowed researchers to map out the Perseus and Taurus molecular clouds in 3D for the first time, uncovering the huge hole as they went. Even though we knew the clouds were there, we never knew their dimensions, shapes, depths, allowing the void to go unnoticed. It goes to show that what we think we know might not quite be so right after all. Astronomers are still looking for the elusive Planet Nine. As the rhymes we learned at school taught us, our solar system once had nine planets. Though with Pluto being demoted, losing its planetary status, the team dropped to just eight players. Now though, the people responsible for revoking Pluto's title of planet have suggested that there may really be a ninth planet in our solar system after all. The suggestion is that this mysterious ninth planet could be multiple Earths in size and is orbiting our Sun even further than Neptune. A study published in August 2021 by astronomer Michael Brown, the man who demoted Pluto, and his colleague astrophysicist Konstantin Batygin showed the pair giving the ninth planet hypothesis data another examination, after it was initially collected in 2016. The presence of a ninth planet could account for a number of astronomical anomalies, including why icy asteroids and cometary cores all clumped together. National Geographic reports that the study will be published by the Astronomical Journal. Even though this explanation would provide a lot of answers, we are missing one vital detail. We have not found Planet Nine. It has never been seen, leading a great deal of astronomers to simply claim that it does not exist. Some explain the clusters of objects as simply observation bias, as there are such a small number of instances where this has been seen. Only a dozen objects out of potentially hundreds, in fact. This could simply be a fluke, and not evidence enough to support the idea of Planet Nine. However, since 2016, more observations have been gathered and added to the study by Brown and Batigan, from which they have calculated that there is a 0.4% chance that this clustering of objects is accidental. This strongly supports the idea of Planet Nine. The 2021 research allegedly provides what could be a treasure map to track the orbit of the planet to help guide astronomers to the best place to look in the sky to see the unseen planet. 
This orbit and the 0.4% statistic have been acquired from data across a number of astronomical surveys, not just the one, and not solely from the 2016 data analysis. Brown hopes that if this survey data is not successful, that survey data from a large telescope at the Vera Rubin Observatory in northern Chile could help find some answers. The telescope is not due to open until 2023, so hopefully the answers about Planet 9 could be in the not-too-distant future. But what do you make of these outer space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.